Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I will show you how you can make your own fantastic looking aloes just like this one. But before we get started I share a lot of great modeling tips and techniques on this channel so if that sounds interesting to you definitely subscribe and click the bell so that you don't miss anything. So let's not waste any more time and get started. To get started making the leaves of the aloe you will need a piece of paper, a pen and a ruler to get perfect straight lines. Next you simply just need to draw lines about every 2 mm on the paper like this. Now you need to draw more lines over the other lines to get a lot of small diamond shapes that looks like this. Once you're done drawing the lines, you'll need a sharp bowie knife to cut out all of the leaves that you'll need for the aloe. I carefully cut the paper in strips following the lines like this. And then I cut the strips into individual leaves for the aloe. And just be careful not to cut your fingers. You will need to cut about 30 leaves to complete one aloe and once you have all the leaves you will need to put them on a piece of foam like this. Now you will need a pen and you can use a pair of pliers to make it easier to handle the pen. Now you basically just need to press the pen through the leaves one at a time and repeat the process until you have about 30 leaves on the pen. And as you can see this can be difficult but if you take your time it will definitely work. To glue the leaves together so that you can remove them from the pen you will need some PVI glue that's mixed 50-50 with water. Once the glue is ready you basically just need to dip the leaves a few times in the glue and that should be enough to give a strong and reliable bond. You can easily clean up the excess glue on the leaves using an earbud. Now you will need to let the leaves dry for about 12 hours. Now while you are waiting for the leaves to dry you can basically start making the flowers of the aloe. The flowers is made using 0.3mm steel wire. I take 5 wires and cut them to about 2.5cm. And then I twist the wires on the one end like this. It's basically the same idea as I have made my wire trees just a little bit smaller. 
I cut some of the wires a bit shorter to give a bit of variation in the flowers and that will result in a more realistic looking aloe. Once you are finished twisting the wires it should look something like this and you can use a block of foam to hold it in place while painting. I'm using four colors for painting the aloe. First a dark green base coat for the flower stems. Then once the dark green base coat is dry I'm using yellow for the bottom of the flowers. And then I'm using red for the top of the flowers. But you can also use orange depending on the type of aloe you are making. It works the easiest if you are using a small paintbrush like I'm using here. And don't worry to make big blobs of paint like this because the paint shrinks as it dries. This is how the flower should look like after painting and you just need to let it dry for a few hours. This is after 3 hours and as you can see the paint has shrinked quite a lot. The leaves is also now completely dry so now you can easily remove it from the pen. To allow the stem of the aloe to fit through the middle of the leaves, you will need to drill the hole in the middle of the leaves bigger to make it fit. And for that I'm using a 1.2mm drill bit. In preparation for painting the leaves, I'm using a toothpick like this to hold it in place. I'm using this bright green from Ammo for painting the leaves. As you can see the leaves looks very good now but the paint is still wet so you just need to let the paint dry for about 30 minutes before you can continue. The paint on the leaves is now dry so now you can remove the leaves from the toothpick and you can easily glue the flowers onto the leaves using some normal super glue. For the mounting pin and the stem of this aloe I'm using a 2cm piece of the small plastic pipe out of the middle of this earbud. I have used super glue to glue the small plastic pipe onto the aloe but the super glue did not give a strong and reliable bond so I suggest that you use a PVI glue instead. Now it's time for adding the dead leaves or bark onto the stem of the aloe. 
and for that I'm using Roybos D. But if you don't have access to Roybos D, then you can just go outside and collect some real bark and grind it up in a blender and get similar results. I have found that PVI glue works the best for gluing the dead leaves onto the stem of the aloe. Then it's as simple as sprinkling the tea onto the glue using your fingers. As you can see the super glue that I used did not give a strong and reliable bond. This is why I suggest using PVA glue instead. And there you have a fantastic looking aloe ready to be installed on your layout or a diorama. Thank you so much for watching this video until the end. I hope you enjoyed watching and if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments down below. And if this video was helpful definitely subscribe and click the bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos. And also if you have any ideas for my next video definitely let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you in the next video.